Oh, Sonic, man. Sonic, man. Like, listen, man. All I want, man, is for some news on Sonic Movie 3. Just new any news on Sonic Movie 3 today. Is there anything today? This is like day 246. Oh, I don't know what day it is. What, what do we got here? Do There's news? Wait a minute. Wait. News? There's news? Oh. It's that Sonic Fall Guys game. Yo, what's going on guys, friend host of Counter-X Crash, and today Sega has now officially announced the new Sonic Fall Guys game, now titled Sonic Rumble. We don't really know that much about it yet, but we're going to go over all the news that we know so far, and I'll talk, give my thoughts about it, and we're going to be talking about the upcoming playtest, which I will be trying to take part in. There's an uh, application you can fill out. We're going to get into all of it. We're going to get into all of it. So if you want to see more Sonic and Nintendo content on the channel, make sure you subscribe to notifications so you don't miss out on anything. If you happen to enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like as well. So with that being said, um, we're gonna react to this trailer real quick and see what we can uh, take from it. Okay, this this is just straight up Smash Brothers. Like, look at this, straight up Smash Brothers. Yeah, that that that, that that's literally the figures in Smash Brothers. It, it, it's literally, they're ripping off Smash. They're ripping off Smash. Oh my! Wow, these models look pretty good actually. Okay, yeah, oh, this is straight up Fall Guys. No, this is Fall Guys. <laughs> this is Fall Guys. Yeah. <clears throat> this, yeah. Okay, customize your character. Okay, so this Oh, wait, there's different different character variants. Okay. Although, they seem to be using different color color variants from other Sonic Bubble games. The maps look good. We're gonna have to go in there. We're gonna have to go back in there and analyze this real quick. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, as we look at this trailer, I'm gonna try, be, try and do some comparisons to the original trailer that got taken down for this. The original leaked trailer, I guess I, I should say, that got taken down for it when it was previously called Sonic Toys Party. Which, by the way, I feel, I feel like it would have been funny if they kept that logo because honestly, ripping off Disney would probably have been the funniest thing ever. Although, Sega probably would have gotten a lawsuit. I just think it's, I think, still think it would be the funniest thing ever, ever if they ripped off Disney. Like, honestly. <laughs> so, yeah, according to Sonic the Hedgehog's Twitter um, post for the Sonic Rumble trailer, they give the description of the game saying, Get ready to race in an all new Sonic Rumble, a speedy 32 person mobile royale set in the cheery toy world created by Dr. Eggman. So, this is basically another one of Eggman simulations, like with um, Dr. Robot next Mean Bean Machine. That, yeah, th that checks out. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, I, li I like the idea. I like that concept, but. So, let's take a look at all these characters we got here. We got Metal Sonic, we got Amy, uh, we got a couple of the uh, OC guys from uh, Forces. I think it's what it looks like. I might not. I'm there might be different characters, I don't recognize them. I see Jet the Hawk here, good to see he's getting some recognition, that's good to see, Big the Cat, good. And Z Zavok, of all people, Zavok, good gosh. Charmy, we got Vector, we got Knuckles, Silver, Espio, we got we got the whole gang here. Cream the Rabbit, Blaze too, we got some Blaze love. Got Dr. Eggman here on the corner as well, but yeah, we got everyone, basically. Uh, looks like there's some pretty, yeah, basically semi-original, semi um... Courses here too that we can play play on. Starlight Carnival. This is one uh, th I get recognized that stage anywhere. That's good to see that Sonic Color stages are getting some love and support. I love to see that. That's awesome to see. Got some 2D action here as well. That's pretty good to see as well. But that's awesome. We're getting some Sonic Color stages. That's awesome. I know Hollow's gonna be excited for that one. My good friend of mine. Yeah, there is not much to dissect uh, in here personally for me. I, I would have to do like a frame by frame analysis just to see what tiny details there are. But um, I'm gonna go into some of the other key details that um, uh, Sonic Stadium has actually dropped about. Hi, this is me in the future. I have no lights on because this is post recording. And post recording, Sonic Stadium actually just posted some more key details that I actually didn't even realize when I was looking at the trailer. So we're gonna look at those details right now. And I'm not turning on the lights because I'm lazy. So let's read this article real quick. A few t different gameplay modes have been confirmed, including the platform racing mode where players must race through an obstacle course, and a survival mode where players must avoid being knocked off an area by, de by a death egg robot as the area gradually shrinks. A multitude of Sonic characters are available, including the likes of Chaotix, Jet the Hawk, Blaze, Silver, Big, Eggman, Shadow, the Sonic Forces Avatar, and the core Sonic cast. 
Characters can be customized with the reins the players collect with the pirate outfits shown off for Sonic and Shadow in the trailer. This, the game is the first ever collaboration between Sega and Robio with the game's press release saying that the game is being developed, managed, and released jointly between the two companies. Given that this game has been the, likely in development since long before Sega, Sega's acquisition of Rovio, it seems like the game was developed primarily by Sega with Rovio's involvement being a more recent development. And of course, you know, we got the website here and you can actually apply to beta test the game right now too, which I already did sign up for that. So if I do end up getting to beta test this game, look forward to a live stream of that if they allow us to live stream it, that is. But um, if I can't live stream it, make sure you check it out. Make sure you have notifications enabled on the channel. But yeah, here we got some more screenshots of the game. We got these clean. We got Rouge the Bat here as well. We got some more of the um, Forces OCs. Honestly, this is, these models look really clean. Honestly, these models these models look really good. I love the, I love how clean these look. This is good. Now the thing is, is that they're claiming this game to be the new Sonic Party game, and that's why I, that's where my thoughts are about to come into this. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. All right, you ready for this? You ready for the Shabak? You ready for the Shabakle, y'all? All right, I'm gonna get into this. I did not want this game. <laughs> Deal. It's worth every penny. Oh, uh, the only reason for this is because if we ever, if I, if I want a Sonic, if I get a, if they're giving me a Sonic Party game, I want it to be like Sonic Shuffle, where it's on console, it's multiplayer, local co-op, or make it like Mario Party Superstars, where it's online. I probably should make a video about this, about what I want for a Sonic Party game, because right now this is not what I want from a Sonic Party game. <laughs> Although, considering the fact that Sonic Shuffle was made by Hudson Soft, and Hudson Soft is no longer in existence, and they did make the, uh, Sonic, uh, the Mario Party games, uh, back when Hudson Soft did exist, um, and now that the Mario Party games are being made internally at Nintendo, um, yeah, Hudson, no, no, no more Hudson Soft, there's just no way we're gonna be able, be able to make more Sonic Party games on consoles, unless there's another developer to pick that up. The other thing I'm worried about with this, too, is that it's also only on mobile. It's also probably going to have microtransactions. But yeah, if you want to try and uh, beta test Sonic Rumble, though, you can also sign up to be a closed beta tester um, by May 19th, and then the closed beta period will be between May 24th and May 26th. And if that happens, you know, darn well, I'll be streaming at least a couple days during that playtest. Uh, so I can try and uh, get some gameplay and then check it out and see how it is. Because I, I want to check this out. And also, I think it'll be a pretty fun time to check out. And here are the dates. Here's the first play session, second play session. Uh, most of the play sessions are going to be on the May 25th and May 26th. All throughout that weekend. So it's not going to be during the week. So for those for those youngsters on my channel who want to try this out for yourselves, um, you can register. I'll leave a link to the website down below. Uh, in the description if you want to check it out for yourself and here you can read all of this yourself if you'd like to you just need you need an iphone you need an android with at least four gigabytes of ram or more and here's the th here's the kicker though if you want to wait to play this you're gonna have to wait until winter 2024 so if you want to play early before this winter you better sign up for that play a test because darn man you're gonna have to wait a long time for a sonic party game that's all i'm saying and this is probably the only footage you're gonna get for a while. I don't even know we're gonna get this because we're definitely gonna, we're definitely getting the Sonic Central in June. There's no doubt about that because we still need to see more footage of Sonic X Shadow Generations, and we need to see more footage of maybe Sonic Movie Three as well, which we're apparently getting another trailer for this month. So make sure you subscribe to notifications so you don't miss out my reaction and analysis on that. But yeah, I'm kind of mixed. I'm kind of mixed on this uh, mobile game. Uh, my I mean the thing is is that I'm excited that we're getting another party game. Um, for Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, but the, pro the only other complaint about it is that it's mobile. And if you know what they're gonna do with mobile games, they're gonna monetize the heck out of it. And I feel like that kind of ruins the fun of party games. And I feel like this is not, this, out, this is not even a party game. They're calling it a party game, but really it's just, uh, it's a, it's a mobile battle royale. And the thing is, if we already have Sonic the Hedgehog and Fall Guys, then why do we need, why do we need a Sonic battle royale game? That's my question, although Fall Guys is pretty much dead, so I can see why they would want to make their own game at this point. But anyways, yeah, here are my final thoughts on this. So basically, do I want this? No. I mean, it's better than not having a Sonic party game. At the end of the day, it's better than not having a Sonic party game at all. But what I feel like what we really do deserve is we deserve an act a, a full on sequel, not like a sequel, but a successor to Sonic Shuffle from like 20 plus years ago. It was nice to have that option for our Sonic Party game, other than the casual Mario Party games, and it was also to have that unique, the unique take from Sonic on, on the party games. So, do I consider this a Sonic Party game? No, absolutely not. This is not a Sonic. In my opinion, this is just another mobile battle royale game. Um, that is definitely gonna, that is definitely gonna have microtransactions in it, but it definitely has its own take on it though. You are able to attack enemies in here. There are NPCs you got and NPC enemies that you have to attack and take on, and there are a couple of obstacles that you can see from Fogga. So it is it is doing its own take on it as well. But yeah, I know you probably expected me to have a little bit more thoughts on this than just what I said, 
but I there's not really much I want to say on this. Um, but although I do, I just want I didn't want to cover I didn't want to cover this yet until Sega made an official announcement yet. That's why I didn't make any videos on this when it was originally leaked. Um, I was being out whether I want to do it or not. But now that we have official announcement, here my, I've given my thoughts now. And honestly, I am a little skeptical about this, but at the same time, I am excited because it's the first Sonic Party game that we've gotten in, in 20 plus years. Like I think Sonic Shuffle came out in 2001, right? 2000 Sonic Shuffle came out in 2000 so it's been yeah over 24 years 24 years since it came since Sonic Shuffle since we had a Sonic Party game so I'm looking forward to this whether it's gonna flop whether it's gonna die out immediately we'll see what happens but I will be definitely checking out the close beta test if I do get into it again you can check out the close beta test for yourself down below just remember though that for, for you for you, young, you youngsters on my channel you do have to be 13 years or older in order to participate in it which i think most of you are so you should you, you should be pretty much okay but, but yeah what do you guys think about sign global do you guys think it's gonna flop when it releases do you think it's gonna be dead on release or do you think it might be it might be the start of something great coming out of the Sonic franchise? Let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this quick short video. Once again, again, I'm trying to work on some evergreen content right now, so it's coming your guys' way. My Knuckles review is still not out yet. I'm working on that. I was literally working on that as this drops, so don't worry. It's coming out very soon. I promise. Anyways, like, leave a like down below if you haven't enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Sonic and Nintendo content very soon, make sure you subscribe to notifications as well so you don't miss out on a single video that I drop. Or when I go live. I, I am taking a hiatus from live streaming right now, so I'll be doing more live streams soon. But until then, stay tuned. Make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss out when I go live next time. Or when I when I post the next video. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out.